Coming in or Shorts. What? In what? the what? snow. Okay, see you. up everyone Charlie's in the greenhouse today <laughs> he's here with us eating grass why do we have grass growing in the greenhouse because it's nice in here <laughs> well time you guys see this it'll be a week later but tomorrow they're saying mid 40s happy Valentine's Day it'll be on Valentine's Day tomorrow's Valentine's no it's the eighth when tomorrow. they see this really Seven today oh. plus seven. I don't believe in that day. <laughs> it's just a flower day. I'll grow you. So, a not a date in here with our plants. <laughs> Spinach date again? Nah. <laughs> Let's do a lavender date. Lavender date. <laughs> Lavender's dead. Lavender's not dead, but it's pretty much oh, dead. Like a sage or something. I'll try. This time we can feed it to each other. Sage. Well, we uh, got a gift in the mail. We weren't expecting. Actually, it yeah. came and you got it the, from outside. And <clears throat> what is that cat doing? You got it from outside and brought it in the box. And I go, What did you order now? And she goes, What did you order? I didn't order anything. What did you order? <laughs> what are you doing? Is this the Charlie show again? So yeah, we got uh, a cool little gift. We want to say thank you. Thank you, Miss Patty over from Southern Bless Homestead sent us a watering can. Keep our spinach and carrots in water. I think it was from Patty, not from Mac. I think yeah. it specifically said from Patty. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> thank you both or, or Patty. <laughs> Might as well talk about this. The carrots died. It's probably because of lack of uh, watering and whatnot, but it's fine. We gotta put. In, I'm looking at the bright side. We gotta put no more soil in here, anyways. So it's not the end of the world. We'll just have to. Uh, I'll probably just leave them, <clears throat> so it's something for the worms and whatever to bio, or uh, biomass in there and put all new black dirt in here on the top because this settled quite a bit and then uh, I'm gonna use all compost that I can get to oh probably <clears throat> half hour drive or so from here one way so then I'll go and get a trailer full and we'll just fill this up do this whole bed and then we'll do this whole bed so then we'll come in here and plant again because we got once a couple weeks here once everything starts warming up a little bit then we'll be able to plant so I want to have that done pretty soon want to pull one no I don't know, Matt. There's a little bit of green. Might be alright. A lot of these are, they literally look dried out though. Pull them. I'm not gonna pull them, just leave them. Look at the ones back here though. These look alright. Just a bummer. What a putts. So we have our concrete mixer already. There's some old potting soil in here. Concrete well, mixer? Yeah, it's a little Is tote for, for mortar. <clears throat> so this, all this is used and we like to put it in here, 
put some fresh dirt in and then we really just put a bunch of fertilizer in here so we can reuse it works good still we never had an issue but then this baby is the lifesaver oh. remember what size it is i think it's two inch we can leave it in the description yeah, below. Yeah, it's a two inch. Two inch soil blocker. We love it. We don't, uh, we heard from a lot of other people that, or like reviews and stuff, read a lot of things about it. What is it, the one inch? A lot of people do the one inch and then they go up to the two inch or something like that, or three quarter, I think it is. And then sizes below this is what most yeah. people start with and they end up needing to move up anyways so we just start it's a lot of transplanting and we mm -hmm. found that by Oops. doing it this way there was less transplanting less transplanting but also like when the roots start growing out they grow out mm -hmm. the sides first and it shocks them and then they start growing down and then that's when they normally get planted so yeah we talked last week about our tomatoes um wanting maybe starting those later or whatever because of the size of the block but we certainly could do a bigger block size and yep. do the tomatoes that way too that is yep. an option and i seen a video um <clears throat> al lumna yeah it was al lumna he made a a bigger one to go from two inch to four inch for just the tomato yeah plants. well you could make and he made it out too. of he made out of wood so absolutely yeah yeah excited who out there put it in the comments who has dirt ready and is ready planting? Because I know, I know some people down south are getting ready. I know Brian Castle Hive, he was texting me. He was thinking about getting his stuff ready, pepper plants going. Yeah, I went to Target this morning and I saw they had their gardening section up. So I just quick swung through it. And Matt's like, did you get some dirt? And I'm like, I don't, no, I didn't. I just, I walked straight past the pots to like get the fill and all the, all the new garden gloves and shovels and things. And then I was over there. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing that I'm hoping this year is to figure out how much dirt we're going to go through because the last couple of years, especially because we've been doing bigger pots too, but when we always used those um, solar cups, we yeah. went through a lot of dirt all the time. Yeah, I think this will use less dirt. Yeah. It's definitely um, more condensed, but I think we go through a lot more dirt than we realize. And the last few years we've been buying organic potting mix to start our seeds and um for our big pots and things yeah. so that really does add up quite a bit so there probably is a better alternative to doing that but it's just gonna take some planning i think for us to find it and do it that way yeah but i can't wait the sun feels great today it does i we're probably squinting quite a bit we're not gonna get a good thumbnail for this picture because we both have our eyes closed so we'll try ready one two three <laughs> back to closed <laughs> this is what a mole feels like oh because they don't like the sunlight no they squint mm. darn charlie this is what sunglasses are for <laughs> oh is that what they're for yeah. oh i never knew that I always warm because I thought it was cool to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I hope you guys like the show. We're excited. We can't wait. And probably in two weeks. We'll see how the weather goes. Show. <laughs> <laughs> the Matt and Sarah show. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a Charlie show. <clears throat> Charlie. <laughs> Glad you guys see us again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>